right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and as well rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading December 30th to January 5th, 2019. And in case you do want to get in touch with me, guys, uh, you can find a link to my website in the description down below. Oops. From which uh, you can schedule a, a personal reading with me. So that being said, moving into the spread straight away here, uh, the first card which is going to mark the topic of your love and relationship week here is going to be the strength card, followed by the next one which stands as the energies which are supporting the topic of uh, the week itself is going to be the page of pentacles, followed by the third one which stands as the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the challenge of the two of wands. Afterwards is going to be the gifts and the blessings uh, that you are going to enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That is going to be the uh, Five of Cups. Followed by the next one, which is how other people see you um, in, this, in the situation you are finding yourself at in terms of love and relationship. We do have the Seven of Wands. Followed by the next one, which is what, uh, what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal. That is the Sun card. The seventh one, it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That is going to be the Page of Wands. And the last one here, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you in terms of love and relationship. That is going to be the Tree of Swords. All right, Sagittarius. So, uh, we do have a, a very stable, I would say, week in terms of love and relationship. That is shown in the first couple of cards here, which points that you are to identify what you want and what worth your time, what deserves your attention and your devotion as well. Now, these cards, I don't like to speak so concrete when it comes to a general reading, but those cards could speak for a couple of things. One of them, it is a, um, a glimpse of a reconciliation and the other, it is that uh, you do, uh, you are going to um, provoke or create an, an emotions into a friend of yours. Uh, it, it goes like this, you know, you are a friend with someone and kind of like you spend a quality time together and so on and so forth. And cer certainly you identify that this friendship worth exploring and worth kind of like deepening it further. And the person that you are friend with kind of identifies the same thing. What I'm trying to say here is that the energies are very potent of uh, creating love from a simple, uh, from a simple friendship. But important thing here to be acknowledged as well it is that it will require a lot of devotion once again and a lot of a dedication. However, throughout the week, it seems that you are going to ex not explore but display uh, your youthful spirit, which is going to make a very, very strong impression into people. And no wonder that a friend of yours is going to find you as a suitable partner in case you are... Uh, single, for example, or even if you aren't, that could be also the case. And that leads us to the topic itself, which is a, a topic of uh, enthusiastic approach. Not to mention that you can have a lot of physical interactions, for example, sex even, um, with, with your person of interest or with your partner that the sex is going to be awesome throughout the week. The strength card as well points that you are not going to care what everybody else thinks about your attempts to be with someone or about your situation of being with a someone. Despite of what everybody is, is uh, saying and are talking about, you will know that that is the best thing for you. Why? Because you identify that it words it. So the other card here represents the challenges and we do have the two of wands. So it seems that you are a bit milder into your approach. What I mean it is that you are more subordinate than it has to. 
That being said, this needs to change. I mean, uh, the, cha the challenging thing for you is to um, the challenge. The challenging thing for you is to ask for what you want, and that needs to be overcome. You don't. You want something. You simply, you know, raise your voice about it. Additionally to that. The two of wands says that you are likely to find yourself into a good spot or in a good situation in terms of your love and relationship uh, situation through, uh, throughout this uh, throughout this week, December thirtieth to January fifth. But the challenging thing for you it is to find the means or uh, the way. Yeah, the way, the opportunity, how to unfold on it, how to improve it even uh, even further. The next one, it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you are going to enjoy. And that is uh, the gift and the blessing of the Five of Cups. Highly tight and related to the energies and the topic, the Five of Cups gives you the gifts and the blessing of uh, the confirmation that you are on the right path emotionally, that the person you know you are falling in love with actually words it, like I said. and. Also, the Five of Cups is the gift and the blessing of being grounded in a term of that knowing that somewhere along the way there are going to be misfortunate circumstances, disappointments even. But this card points that you are going to have the determination to overcome those, uh, those difficulties, not just only you, but also your person of interest of your partner as well. So we can... Uh, Classify this card as a uh, unconditional love, if you will, in this follow-up, okay? Or unconditional trust and, and believe that you are not going to split apart just for a single shenanigan that pops up somewhere along the way and you both are feeling um, miserable about it or kind of like disappointed about it. Additionally to that, uh, gift and blessing wise, uh, the Five of Cups says that throughout the week you are not going to be uh, disappointed or uh, despondent, despondent to a point that is going to ruin your time of being happy. The next card, it is how people are going to see you. And that is the Seven of Wands. People are going to see you as a, a predator. In a sense of that you are laying, praying down into the grass, waiting for the right moment to come around so you can make your decisive move, so you can make your attack. That being said, people are not going to uh, fantasize or daydream of uh, why you are not doing certain things, you know, and uh, why you have such a, a standpoint or such an opinion. As well, people are going to see you as a, a very guarding type of individual, someone who guards their uh, relationship, someone who guards their, um, you know, their interactions. And in general, people are going to see you as a, a force to be reckoned with. But uh, it's very potent card for those who are expecting their person of interest or their partner to do something to give them a, a clear sign or a goal, you know, because that means that your partner or person of interest sees you as ready. I mean, ready, ready to jump into further action. Now, the next one, it's going to be... Uh, what is going to help your long-term uh, love and relationship goal. And we do have the Sun card. So, excuse me, guys. So your long-term relationship goal is going to be supported or helped by capitalizing on the growing energies or on the growing situations throughout this uh, week. What I mean is that you have to capitalize on everything and not leaving it unattended. I mean, someone displays their emotions towards you, you got to capitalize on it. All right. Someone tells you how pretty you are. You got to capitalize on it. Someone asks you out. You got to capitalize on it and so on and so forth. Additionally to that, you have to display your uh, acute sense of uh, 
knowing how to party and how to enjoy life in general. But above everything else, when a, uh, a good opportunity for you to jump into a relationship or to improve your marriage or to improve your current relationship appears, do not force it, guys, but allow it to unfold naturally. This is always comes around with the Sun card. And finally, try to reach an agreement. That's the biggest thing about the Sun card, burying down the hatchets of war when it comes to love and relationship. The next card here is going to be in regards to what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. We do have the... Um, page of wands. So that is a, an individual who is trying to knock you off your place. It's kind of like competition that tries to be liked more than you are from your friends, your social circle, and eventually, you know, from your partner, uh, husband or a wife, or a uh, person of interest. Now, you need to know that this individual here, which is the page of wands, it's uh, it kind of tries to appear tough and that everything is brought in their feet but actually within they're extremely extremely fragile okay they are very touchy they do not they cannot handle criticism very well and uh, in generally they think that they are perfect but in reality they aren't so you can banish that person but by, by pointing their flaws and, uh, and the last card here is going to be uh, the guidance that Tarot is uh, offering to you. We do have the Tree of Swords. So the, the Tree of Swords as a guidance tells us that you should not dwell into uh, past misfortune experiences and past poignant experiences in general. Uh, just to give you an example of it, say you are into a relationship and recently you know there were certain things happening there that were damaging the relationship but now everything is okay you don't have to dwell into those previous mistakes that your partner did that you did and so on and so forth dwelling into those negative thoughts are twisting and tangling into your mind and uh, they are simply making you feel lost if not uh, anything else. So the point here with the Tree of Swords is to acknowledge that past is, is in the past. Trying to uh, deny it is gonna serve, serve you just as bad purpose as trying to dwell on it, okay? You have to accept that we are people, we do mistakes, okay? But sometimes out of those mistakes, the most beautiful things happen. So accept that nobody is perfect, but everybody deserves a, a second chance or a second go. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and you liked it, guys. And in case you do want to get in touch with me, you can check the description down below where you're going to find a, a link to my website from which you can uh, schedule a, a private reading with me. Um, and hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.